the most common types of essays a history student will be asked to write, especially for an AP exam, will deal with historical causation, or to put it more simply, cause and effect. These are almost always a document-based question, or DBQ, that will present the student with various primary sources and then ask them a cause and effect question. You can recognize a cause and effect question when it uses the following key words. Impact, consequences, causes, result, outcome, influence, source, origin, or effect. Any cause and effect essay will start with a hot thesis sentence, written in the format X, however A and B, therefore Y. In a cause and effect essay, the Y is your claim, the effect. The A and B are the two most important or visible causes, and the X is a cause that shares little commonality with your A and B. How do you arrive at all these things? By pre-writing. For a cause and effect essay, your pre-writing takes a simple form. Once you have your pre-writing done, you can construct your hot thesis sentence using the X, however A and B, therefore Y formula. Your pre-writing also gives you a great outline for your essay as well. Your HOTS thesis forms the basis of the first paragraph. Your second and third paragraph expand on A and B, using evidence from the documents or primary sources. The fourth paragraph focuses on X and shows that you can acknowledge various opinions and statistics that don't fit neatly with your thesis. And finally, the final paragraph restates your why. I hope this look at cause and effect pre-writing has helped and will help your history work.